Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Sandra LaBeouf, Black Girl Nerds. Yes. You, you guys are so hype. I almost want to say, damn these questions. Let's just, you know, let's just catch up. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Everybody good during this pandemic? What's going on? Starting with you, starting with you, Kara, what's going on? What's going on with me? You know, I'm feeling very blessed to be here with you and another beautiful brown face, Coral Pena. I yes. just really want to throw that out there. That feels like a very high vibration to me. Um, and, you know, I just, I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling blessed. How about you, Coral? How are you feeling this morning? We're going to talk about some chemical hearts, but just checking in. Are you good during this pandemic? How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling great. Happy to be here with Kara. We, we, uh, we're, we're doing this together. I, 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 I'm just so happy. Well, I'm happy to talk with you. I haven't been a teenager for a long time, but I really liked this movie. It really resonated with me. If I was like 16 or 18 years old, I would have been sobbing in tears but I did have a few tearful moments watching you guys go through your journey of this senior year of high school beginning with you Kara teenagers are are so much more layered than they are often given credit for what was it like for you to participate in this project and provide another form of representation that teenagers off, don't often get to see on in film or just in projects in general Word and hallelujah to your question. Um, I, I think it's incredibly important to see Black queer visibility, especially unapologetically Black queer visibility. Uh, I believe that La is unapologetically Black, queer, creative, radical thinker, is committed to being the change that she wants to see in the world, will, will change the world, you know? And so I think that it's incredibly important to see black, brown, queer love um, and have two characters fully express themselves and for exactly what they're feeling. I think that's very important to see that in this kind of narrative. Absolutely. And in a companion with that, Coral, I love the openness and authentic authenticity and the vulnerability that your character displayed when they were beginning their conversations about being together because either the depiction is either they have it all the way together or it's, we're not sure what to do with this character. And I loved your portrayal of your character. Can you speak to representing for the Latino community, for the Latinx community to see that imagery on, on screen? And maybe it's been a little absent for Latinx youth to see queer love on the screen. Yeah, there's not a, enough Latin queer love. There's not enough, uh... You know, when you're an immigrant or even first generation and Kara's first generation as well, there's a certain standard to live up to uh, specific values or, or to be a specific type of uh, kid or, or, you know, daughter or son. And um, what's amazing about something like this is seeing someone who's messy and who's learning to be proud of themselves and knowing that that too is part of the human experience and that too is part of um, what you're allowed to be and you don't just have to be perfect all the time. I, I, I'm excited for Latin kids to see that and, and feel free. Absolutely. Well, they are giving me the wrap. Thank you, ladies. Oh, I enjoyed yeah. the project. Looking forward to seeing the other reviews of it and have a blessed day. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.